UGD coming at you with the 6RP320 compact and full size. That's right, guys. You get a two for one range review of this 357 SIG hot rod. Give you a rundown of these Stryker fired hot rods. Stainless steel sitting on the polymer. Seven inches on the compact, eight inches on the full size, five and a half inches tall on both, with 1.3 inches on both. Barrel length compact, 3.9 inches. Full size, 4.7 inches. This one comes in at 28 ounces. You go to the full size, you're going around 30 and a half ounces. So anywhere from 36 to 39 fully loaded guys fit. Mm, yeah, pretty good. I liked it. Switching back and forth was easy peasy. The Nitron or whatever SIG calls that finish, it is glorious. I really dig that quite a bit. Three knot sights. Not a big fan of those, but they are night sights on both of them. So equal sights, equal pitcher on each one of them. A trigger on it? Good. Yeah, guys, there's a there's a little bit of take up, just a little bit, but that break is nice. The reset, really good. Yeah, easy to shoot this gun. Slide lock, ambidextrous and tucked. I like how they did that. Mag release, it's all there. 14 rounds of thumper right there, guys. Woo! Grip, natural pointing. You know, guys are going to talk about the high bore axis. I didn't notice it. Texture on it was fantastic. And then I got my front serration so I can do my cool guy press checks. Going to find these on the used market. Four, four and a half, depending on how much you got with. Five to six hundred dollars. Exchange kits, an exchange kit will include some mag, a mag or two. I think they're around 250, 275 is what I'm seeing them use. New, they're three and a quarter. The, the, the positives on this thing, guys, is the build quality is just off the charts. Yeah, SIG really did a good job on these polymer windows. This is my first 320 I've run. Really happy with it. Ammo we selected on this thing. We went with the Spear 100 grain. You know, it shoots pretty moderately. It, you know, it's mild. It's not a real hot round. But when we switched to the Gold Dot 125 grain bonded jacket at a hollow point, Woo, it's a steel crusher, man. That was fun to run. This is snappy. It's like shooting a Glock 32. It's it's a you know Glock 19 size, and it does make a difference when you're running the full size. Yeah, it really tamed it quite a bit. First three shots, let's take a look at them. Dun, 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 dun. Full size, bam, look at that. That's a solid group right there, guys. I was setting the target on top of the sides. As soon as I covered it, woo, yep, that first one's on me. But yeah, it shoots the same. Yeah, compact versus full size. I didn't notice any difference inside of 20 yards just banging on steel. And, of course, once you get the gold dot in there, it just crushes it. So, yeah, I was like, huh, you know, why get a full size? So we take our midget target. Yeah, that's what we call it, the midget target. He prefers little people. He is 18 inches as wide as he's about 2 feet tall. We drag that thing out, and it is heavy. I had to get a dolly to do this by myself. Drag it out 45 yards away, and we started popping. Yep, guys, I'm about 4 out of 10 with this hot rod right here. As soon as I put the long slide, I was hitting 7 out of 10. <laughs> yes, it does make a difference out there. And the sight picture was terrible because I had a dark dark sight picture with a dark background shooting a dark target. But man, it did make a difference stretching out there. So, well, you know, if you guys are going to be shooting some long distance, whew, better get that long slide. If you're thinking carry concealed and you're just going to get in a you know, close quarters fight, mm, this is probably all you'll need. I didn't notice any difference. So, guys, there's your rundown of the two and the comparisons that I can find. So here's your pros. Build quality, grip, texture, accuracy. Awesome sauce. I like it. Uh, having an exchange kit, that makes it kind of fun going to the range with. Cons, I'm really not seeing any, guys. Yeah, you know, people will talk about the high bore axis. I didn't notice. Uh, you're going to talk about ammo costs. Well, you know what? They put that right on there before you buy it. You knew you bought a 357 SIG. Guys, there's your range report for the P320 full-size and compact 357 SIG. You're welcome. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you thought he has lost his cotton-picking mind and ought to do something else with his free time, well, I don't like you either. <laughs>